Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. What is life like? Why your mother came home to finish chores, collard greens and hot chicken? My mother came home to weed smoke, bacon soda and pots missing. And shit like that, shit man. Like that. Mm. You already know how the game go, it's the same show. It starts when I say go. So go. If you get money, you can hustle with us. My new name is doing more numbers than the mother niggas. Doesn't matter who the mother niggas. Let's get right to it, man. Salute to my guy Showtime SP who will be in the building tonight, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got some things to talk about, but I, I got to talk about Shotgun Shug versus Kid Slade. Whew. In Atlanta, in Atlanta, I could use a white tee. They gonna watch what I say, cause you don't do it like me. So they gonna watch this. Don't worry about it. I got this, right? I got no notes, no quotes either, right? Let's get straight to it. So. A lot of people are reacting to the fact that this battle got announced, you know what I'm saying? And I'll just take y'all back to take y'all, you know what I'm saying? Get this right. I will not say who I feel like is winning. I will break that down exclusively with Showtime SP, who will be by the night. Um, <clears throat> it's been a beautiful week. Took a little week off, you know what I'm saying? I've been chilling, enjoying, you know what I'm saying? The fam, cruising, traveling and shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hair getting long, money getting strong, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Enjoying life, right? So, uh... A battle got announced for Kid Slade versus Shotgun Shook. And there's a there's a mass divide of people. There are people who feel one way about it. There are people who feel another way. I got, you know what I'm saying, some messages, you know what I'm saying, that I've got from the battle, but it's all in my mind. So I said I ain't going to use no notes. I ain't going to use none. Right? So uh, Shotgun Shook basically was saying that, you know, he's not going to promote the battle. I'm going to just see you there on February 18th. From what I'm hearing is Shotgun Shug's not really going to be doing no interviews about it. He don't really want to talk. He just wants to get Kid Slade out of here for good. Like, that's his intention. You know what I'm saying? It, from the thought process, he just wants to eliminate Kid Slade. I see a lot of people saying, oh, you know what I'm saying? This takes away from the streets. And I, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I felt like that whole street essence and the hood and all of that shit, that shit left once Caffeine came in. Once the contract got signed, they doing big deals, Fox TV. They not. They don't even care, bro. They don't. As long as it's entertaining and people will watch, it's gonna get booked. We have seen people choke, stumble, and all kind of battles, and they keep getting booked over and over and over and over again. While there's like ten other niggas over here who don't get booked, might get booked once a year or once every other year. And if they do, it ain't versus nobody good. And I could run down a list of names if you wanted me to, but that's not really what we're here for. So, um. A lot of people wanted to know after the rock battle was Kid Slade going to get booked again. What did I say in the last joints? What did I say? I said he's going to get booked again. You're going to see him again. They got this nigga in the contract. He won the Crucible. They gave him $10,000. Do you think they're going to invest all of that, invest in a rock battle, a big team? You think they're going to put all of that into them? Some was like 10 and 0 on the app. Like, before the paperwork shit, let's not act like he wasn't clipping niggas. That, that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all act like some was not clipping niggas. You know what I'm saying? When he jumped out there and he had the Brooklyn, that's when I noticed him. Y'all know who I run with. So when I seen him jump out there with the net shit on and he clipped the nigga in the tournament, I said, all right, cool. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not here to front on, sir. I'm not about to be sitting up here fronting on. I'm going to tell you how I feel, and that's just the end of it. I don't got no issue with the nigga. I ain't really never spoke to him. I don't know him like that. So I can't, you know what I'm saying? I got to keep it one thou. I don't want to keep it a buck. I got to be honest. You know what I'm saying? This is how we be walk. Niggas ain't going to do it like me with this greasy talk. Now back to Slade. So. I, I rock with the nigga. I seen him like, yo, he, he nice. Son, son get busy. And he was climbing through the ranks, slicing niggas. He was slicing niggas down. That's what he was doing. Cutting niggas. I said, damn, this nigga's rising quick. You know, the rock shit happened. Everybody got how they feel. You know, a lot. The, the, I feel like the fights and the scuffles and all that shit took away from the battle and it kind of just sent it downhill. But the app, you know what I'm saying, most of the shit got him winning, you know what I mean? So it's another win for him, the nigga still ain't lost. So they looking at it like Rock went on a mission to get him out of here, but then he goes on the 15 minutes, uh, not 15 minutes, uh, fuck yeah, it's a 15, yeah, 15 minutes of fame, Uncle Rock, my bad. Heavy bags, what up, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, how it be. Uh, Swave, uh, Ike P, that nigga be rapping too, like I got y'all niggas. Right. So he went on 15 minutes of fame, you know what I'm saying, I just seen Swave at the, uh, 
at the uh, other easy battle in Philly and shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be like, oh, bloggers don't come outside shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas just literally be at events and shit. He didn't say that, that's my dog, I fuck with him, but I'm saying that's what people be saying. I just seen him, ask me if he seen me. Um, back to the shit, so I was like, yo, I wanna see what he gonna do in his next joint, you know what I'm saying? Like after the rock shit, but the paperwork shit came out, you know what I mean? And a lot of people was waiting. The card came out, they just had a two day shit. And you know niggas was like, yo, hold on. There's niggas that's not even good as this nigga that was on the two day joint. Where is this nigga? You know who we wanna see. You know who we wanna see. They want to know what's up. What is he doing? You know niggas in the contract, they're going to put him out there. You can skip all that. Oh, da, 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 man, when them people get that money involved, they want to return on their fucking investment. They looking at it like, he ain't telling on me. He ain't make no statement on me. They don't give a fuck. I'm not, that has nothing to do with this battle. So anything, it does have something to do with this battle because now Shotgun Show comes into this battle after his last joint with a uh, verb that was crazy. With him running, you know what I'm saying, basically running a year of battle rap. He's at the top of every list that's probably going to win. You know what I'm saying? He, he's doing his thing for the year. Like, he's been wilding all fucking year on niggas. So for him to come into 23, people's looking at it like, why would he take him first? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is, could be a trap battle where... Somebody might overuse the angle and it end up like the last joint, he just outbar you. You could be over, over, over using something and then he outbars you and he still gets the W. And that takes away from all of that momentum that showed them built up over the last year or some change. Because he said he literally just started taking people serious. I believe it because I was one of the ones that was talking when he wasn't doing good. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, you heard me, you heard me, bruh. You heard me, bruh. I see you looking, I know the jersey fresh, but let's keep it going. So I'm like, um, sure, you coming into this new year and you're going to start it off with Slade, like, you know what everybody going to want to know, you want to, you know what I'm saying, you know, and I'm telling you all the questions that came the way, like, yo, how's he doing this with Surface's brother, like, and this, that, and the third, niggas is asking these questions, if you think they not, they are, bro, like, for real, don't get it twisted, like, Everybody's asking these questions and they want to know the answers to them and it just is what it is, bro. So, you know, they wondering why is he doing it? They're like, yo, why are you helping him get money? Yada, yada, yada. They thought, let me tell you what the battle rappers thought. The battle rappers thought that every MC was going to band together and just not battle this man. That is not even a realistic expectation because when it comes to money, Niggas is gonna, man, they gonna move, man. Bro, niggas are still doing songs with 6 9 and all that shit. Gonna go come right back out, do music, and there's gonna be some niggas that's gonna still do music with them. They don't care. That money is what's most important. Now, you got some niggas that's super up, 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 up. So they ain't gotta fuck with a nigga. They be like, nope, I ain't fucking with him. I get, nigga getting 100,000 a battle or 50,000 a battle and shit. He ain't worried about that. He be like, ah, nah, I'm not doing that. Nah, I'm good. Give me somebody else. Cause he's already in a position of command. Cause he could do that shit. If a nigga down, 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 down low, and he's still working overnight to Amazon or Lowe's or Home Depot and he's slaving, going to events and trying to fly back and get on the clock. He's trying to get off that clock. And if he know that he takes these battles, it's going to drive his price up from $2,500 to $5,000, $7,000, These you could get from $2,000 a battle to thirty dollars in a year if you go on a crazy run like these. You just click, 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 click everything up. Bro, you could take yourself out of the fucking supermarket or wherever you working, bro by just going crazy. Niggas is gonna take that money, bro, I'm sorry. And I'm not, and, I, and I'm with Suge, I heard, cause you know I hear a lot of shit. Uh, I, just, I don't even say everything about here, but I think this is important. That Suge was asked to do this battle more than one time and he was like, nah, he was good. I think it was between him and I think they wanted uh, T-Top. Like those were the main two targets. Now don't quote me, if you know what I'm saying? If it ain't on all line up, it sound good. You know what I'm saying? I'm from the I'm from the town hood and I'm making this shit sound good. It might not all be a thousand percent, you know what I'm saying? The solid line, like who got, I don't know who got called first and who, I don't know all that. But what I do know is sure got asked to do this motherfucker more than one time and he was like, no, nah, he wasn't with it. He was not with it. It took phone calls, conversations, up and up, up and up to get this thing done. <coughs> now, the distinct advantage that Shotgun Shook has a lot of y'all will probably think it's an angle. I don't think it's an angle. It's momentum. He's been clipping shit for a whole year. Coming into this, the plus minus, my money would be minus on Suge. Like, I would be, he would be my betting favorite. Why? Because he's been clipping shit for a whole year straight. Like, no bad battles, 
No losses, really no losses. 30 and shit, 30 and shit, 30 and shit. He lost a swamp in the tournament, but you know what I'm saying? That be man short prep, niggas battling every two weeks and shit. And if you, it, that, that type of performance, it all depends on who got it that night. If you got it that night in them quick two minute rounds, you're gonna win. You'll see people that you shouldn't think are beating certain people. You'll see a swamp beat a nitty. You'll see a true foe beat a geechee. Like, these are battlers that if they, and no disrespect to them, I fucks with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Or like to the third degree, I really rocks with these niggas. So, if they're winning battles against bigger names like Homesy the Gods and these niggas is beating niggas that's above them, it's be, in, in them tournament settings, it's short time. These niggas don't have 60 days or 45 days. They got 13 days from the last joint. Your battle ends on Sunday, you flying back out in 13 days. You gotta get home, get back to life, family, kids, work, and you're trying to write three rounds? So I put stock in those wins, but I'm like, bruh, it's a lot ticking when you only got 13 days to write three fucking rounds and remember them. But I respect the niggas who do, there's no excuse, they still win, but I'm just giving you perspective. So with the shotgun shook, he was clipping people all year long, you know what I'm saying? So coming into this battle, you would think that, yo, you got a, a wide open layup, don't Andre Iguodala it and let LeBron come block it. You got a wide open layup to use the angle, but you don't want to overuse it to make it like, oh man, this nigga, also all this nigga come in here talk about it, like, oh my God, like, that niggas, niggas will turn de facto off of that. But then the nigga that you battling should have shit prepared, he should be ready. The first round for Slade, Listen, the nigga nice. I'm never gonna take no cut off of that, you know what I'm saying? Like never in anything that I ever say, I never take a cut off a nigga. He's nice, he's nice. Even with the shit that I do. If niggas is doing their numbers, niggas is doing them, they nice, man. I don't hate, I'm not gonna hate on none of these niggas. Like everybody do your thing. I'm not, I don't talk about nobody, I don't wanna talk about nobody, I just wanna do what I do with Showtime SP, right? So if niggas is nice, they nice, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta respect niggas being nice. Like come on, so you gotta respect 